So following on from the previous video, a quick recap. Um, we are now at a stage where we are trying to understand this. We don't fully understand this. So we would translate this block here into this. Now this whole thing here really translates to us looking at this graph here and then approaching x equals zero. So it would, it would, yeah, it would mean the same thing. The true meaning would, would, would be the same. And, uh, so, so we are trying to understand this. This here is one way of, of trying to understand this block here. Another way of trying to understand this block here is, um, is us, uh, looking at, at it from this angle here. Uh, we start out with this, differentiate it, it will then give us this, and then at, at x equals zero, so you put zero into here, this whole thing here becomes one, so, so then, then dy by dx equals this thing here. So by us doing this step here, it really translates to, to us, you see, by us doing this thing here, it really translates us to trying to understand the gradient at x equals zero. Because, because this here is your original graph. This here is your original graph. When you differentiate it, and then, and then, and then work out the, the gradient at x equals zero, it, it really means you putting zero into this thing here. So when you put zero into that thing there, it gives you what you're trying to understand equals the gradient at, at x equals zero. So what that means on this graph here is that if you have your y equals, uh, a to the power of x, this block here really means, this block here really means the gradient at x equals zero. So, so here what it means is you've got your graph here. Uh, so this block here is the gradient at x equals zero. So what that means here, let me give you some more examples here. So this block here really means, well, in the case of two to the power of x here, what this block means is really the gradient of this of this uh, red line here at x equals zero. So, sorry, the gradient at, at this um, of the red line here at x equals zero. So it looks so. So this block here really is the gradient at x equals zero. Okay. So this block here, in, in the case of uh, of the blue line here, is the the gradient at x equals zero. That's what this block means. Okay. That's that's just another way of trying to understand this block here. So here is just an example. Well, in this video, it's really me giving you an, an example in the case of y equals 2 to the power of x and y equals 3 to the power of x. So this block here is the gradient. Now, in, in the case of the red line here, this block here, in the case of the red line, is the gradient at x equals 0 of the red line. Okay, for the blue line, this block here is the gradient at x equals 0 for the blue line. So it would be that. Okay?